Linkin Park concert. And um, so, I, of course, I had to get one for him and take him. And so, the day finally came. Like, I gave his tickets to him back in June. And uh, the concert was in September. Oh. <laughs> that moment to just like, here, let, let me start from the beginning. Cause okay. I knew there was a story there. Yeah, there there's a story. Um, that same day, he said before we left that he needed to go get gas. And so he left and I was at my house getting ready. And so when he comes to pick me up, we go to the concert and it's just indescribable. It was great because Linkin Park is his favorite band. Mm -hmm. Thirty Seconds to Mars is mine. And so oh, and they were playing together? Yeah, they were playing back to back and it was just really fun and then after the concert we went back to his car to drive home and it was like 45 minutes for the parking lot to clear mm -hmm. and he said something about getting something out of the trunk of his car and I had known that he wanted it was to coming. close to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were never shy about the subject. We talked about it basically from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just waiting for the right time. So in the car, he tells me, so, you know how I went to get gas earlier today? I was like, yeah. He said, well, I didn't really get gas. I went to your father's workplace and I asked for his blessing to marry you. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? And so, of course, I know that the question had to follow suit. And he's like, Victoria, will you marry me? And he gave me the box and he opened it up and then he showed me all right, I saw this ring in it, and I was just, I mean, yeah. he picked a moment in which it completely cool. surprised me, awesome. too. That sounds so perfect.